Hello, the Sonic Boom. Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon Season 2. Sorry, it's been a while since the last upload. I've just been busy with Halloween and after Halloween and other stuff. So let's just start. Click to continue. So let's click. Alright, so the world of fantasy. Uh, let's leave it there. So the world of fantasy, fantasy slash adventure. And so far our bank account is in the green, which is good. We want to keep world design up, graphics and sound will stay the same. World design is very important. Recent studies suggest that increasing variety of gaming devices also create a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while some other cater for the more for the more mature age groups as more as more and more developers enter the market we expect developers to focus their games on specific age group to really make an impact i was speaking with that because it's a really intense moment oh target audience uh let's look at our history quickly so we've got war of earth computer pals extreme and then we got computer. So Computer Pals um, one was a complete failure, and Computer Pals Extreme was uh, probably maybe our one of our um, close to be a really best a re one of our best games. So War of Earth got a five on the TES. So it didn't do good, but it didn't do bad. Don't forget to create custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. All right. So maybe we should work on a, a custom engine once we get this game out. And wait for the bugs. Or our now off the market. Just wait for the bugs. And done. Go. The world of fantasy. Well, we're doing good. We're doing really good. All right, so. I think we're, we have an okay start. Following the mass success of the TS console, there are now rumors crickling that Vina, another Japanese company, is trying to release a home gaming console of their own. That's great. Good for them. The first release for a newly released game, The World of Fantasy, came in. Awesome. Oh, oh. Fantasy and adventure is a great combination. Not bad, not good. That's exactly what, what I was saying about our games. Has it moments, so more of like a b -b like five. Well, let's check the history. What do we got? Uh, the world of fantasy got a five again, the exact same thing. So let's create a custom engine called uh, oh, wait, no, we need to research. Uh, research, uh, target audience could be pretty important. Uh, Let's see what topics. No, none of these really interest me. All right. Uh, I'll back. Uh, maybe some mono sound. Some game tutorials. Oh, okay, we're on the red. It's not good. But we're back in the green. That's good. So let's get this game engine done. Game tutorials. Uh, let's create a custom engine. It's gonna have 2D graphics version two. Okay, it's gonna be a pretty expensive game. Save game, we want save game, and game tutorials. Uh, should we make that game? Uh, oh yeah, we don't have enough money. Uh, let's not use 2D graphics version two, and we can uh, sort of ease out the story. And let's do uh, that. There. All right, so come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop scratching your head. We have to get this game engine done. Today, Vina has confirmed recent rumors about a new game console and now it's the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the mass massively successful TES by Ninvento. Plans to see it, see it, release it in the coming months. Well, Vina, Vina is the new version of Sega. Wants to just take over. You knew we, oh, we didn't name it, right, whatever. 
uh, pick game engine. Ta-da! And it's gonna be a bay bay bay. How about a a uh, let's make a fantasy game, another one, and this time it's going to be more going to the adventure side, uh, on the TES of course, let's get this done, 2D graphics version 1, we're already in the red, it's not looking good, oh jeez, uh, yeah, uh, we might need to take some risks. Our right, gameplay we can lower. Didn't name it. Stories and quests is really important. Gameplay is going to be important. Engine can stay where it is. Uh, actually, maybe we could focus more on the engine we're using. Jeez, please. Oh no. Uh, here. Uh, we have uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, that was in a different version I played. In the different versions they. They would pay you a loan. I don't know if that's in this version. I can't really remember. Dialogue is not through that low line. AI could be pretty. Let's leave everything where it is for now. Like that. Let's hope it doesn't affect it too much. Or unless it affects it like really well. Like with wealth. Like good things. And let's get. Yeah. Uh, graphic. Uh, the graphics. Uh, it, it can, everything can stay where it is. If we can get much of an open world as we can, then we'll be then we'll be moving up. Uh, just all right. We just had enough time to finish this game uh, before our bank account goes bankrupt. Things are not looking good so far. Uh, let's call it Ad adventure. Adventure guy, adventure guy, da 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 Come on, please play an okay game. First review for a new game, Adventure Guy came in. Oh, 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 five, 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 all fives, all fives, wait, all fives, which means we should get just a perfect five again. Yep, five, five, Five. I'm noticing a pattern with the TES. It's always a five. Right, let's see if we can get some con contract word. Um, that. Uh, today the new game platform Master V by Vina has been released. All right. There we go. We're Adventure guys selling well. Just so we want it, we, we will transfer 13k to your account. No problem. Let's do some more contract work. Uh, uh, we can do this one, hopefully. Come on, come on. Don't scratch your head. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's work, work, work. The, the recently released console by Master Viva Vina has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. Yeah. And we complete that. 16K. Look at us, we're moving up. I don't think we're ready to do that yet, but let's look at the top. Uh, let's get in sports games. Sports games are the way to go. Hopefully, hopefully that's, that's what we're aiming for. We want sports games to be the way to go. Adventure Guy is looking really pretty good. It's getting us up. All right, so Adventure Guy gave us a big improvement. So let's develop a new game. This will hopefully be the last game before we use target audience. And it's going to be called, uh, 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 can I type? All right, there we go. Uh, how, uh, uh, uh Sports, sports champion, sports championship. Now on the, let's go with the TS for now because we don't want to waste all of our money on the master, getting the master B license. And plus, it don't, it, 
although it's going to last a long time from the other play playthrough, let's wait for the Genesis to make some really good games. Or, um, uh, next, oh, what am I missing? Oh, yeah, the genre. Hmm, I guess simulation would work. Sports and simulation. 2D graphics. Yes. Yes, Pled. This game will hopefully flourish. Flourish. Do we need a save game feature? Uh, yeah, since it's a championship game. Uh, stories, uh, we can leave that down. Gameplay, yes, and engine lower a bit. Or maybe keep it there in stories and plus like medium. We want to mainly on gameplay. That's what we're trying to go for. All right. This is gonna be good. Adventure Guy is now off the market. That's not good. I was just talking about how things should be good for us, but maybe not so much. Level design, AI, dialogue, since it level design, I guess. Uh, we can keep middle. Actually, we don't need much level design because it's pretty much going to be the same thing over and over again. Oh, yeah, crap. Uh, I forgot. You need to... But AI is going to be important because we need to we need to have challengers. We need to be playing them against in our team. So, world design, we don't need as much. Sound could be pretty important. Let's work on sound and graphics. Let's keep sound and graphics high and world design not as much. What I'm picturing is just a classic, sort sort of like um, Atari style things. That makes sense. All right, sports championship. Uh, wow. Level editor and an open world. Casual. Oh, casual games are gonna be first release new, newly released game. Sports championship game. Come on, please be good. Show us potential. We got a good game coming up. We got a first, a seven. We got a seven. An eight, nine. If we got an eight, eight a nine, it would be six, seven, eight, nine, but six, seven, eight, seven. All right. Recent market data shows that the Govador Chief has been losing market share against other PC manufacturers. That's bad for them. So an unofficial statement by GC4 employees said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Uh, just want to give you guys a little heads up. I am going to be uploading a special Roblox day tomorrow. I'm not going to t say what, but it has something to do with water. That's my only hint I'm giving you. Water. That's all. Just water. All right. So, what I want to do is I really want to use this level editor. I think it'd be really cool. Wow, sports championships is amazing. Jeez, I just I just had a shock. Wow. It's a great game. Level editor. All right. So, I'm going to this is going to be an extra long episode. So, oh crap, right, 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 right. Uh, we want target audience right there. Thank you. We got target audience working on. And then eventually, I don't know if we can do it yet, but we want to get some market. We want to see if we can start take over the market because sports championship is selling really well, which me which is great for us. So develop new game DNG DNG. What are we gonna have? Uh. Actually, let's check our top. Let's check our current topics. Uh, research. Hmm. This is a tough one, but I am going to choose airplane. I think with airplane, we can do some special things. Nintendo has announced that they will release a portable gaming device called GameLink. The device with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via connection cable. Compared to PC, our game console GameLink is underpowered, but with the lower cost, excellent portability, it might just find a huge following. The game link is hit to hit shelves next month. Oh crap, guys! We need to change, we need to change, we need to change, we really need to change. We need to stop working on this and we need to, we need to research. We need the game lane. We need casual, we need casual. That's exactly what I'm going for. 
where is it? Casual games. We need casual, and we have just enough money to buy the gambling. So we're gonna buy gambling, test it out. Then we're gonna buy the license for the gambling. And then we're gonna hopefully be able to release another good game like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Finish, finish, finish. The gambling is almost out. Come on. Yeah, all right. Uh, wait, now we just wait. Yes, it's released, all right, let's go. Pause instantly. And choose platform, gambling, buy. All right, so it's going to be an everyone game. It's going to be an airplane simulator. Uh, mm, uh, rhythm, rhythm. That's what we're going for. Casual rhythm, rhythm game for the gambling. Game engine number one with a level editor, if we can include that in. Uh, 2D graphics version one. And this is gonna be, we're gonna make this the big game. I forgot to name it. Uh, all right, so gameplay is going to be not much of a focus. We can leave the game. Uh, stories and quests, not that much. Let's lower everything a bit. Cause we're making a rhythm game. It's gonna be like, imagine like you go, um, like you take this game that allows you to like um, choose an instrument and, and then like create a band, go, uh, create a band, play certain type of themes. That's what I'm saying for the for the Nintendo game, for the Nintendo Game Boy, but in this game, the game link. All right. So AI, we can lower. Dialogues might be pretty, might, nah, no. Dialogues, we can just leave. Everything here is not gonna be that important too much. So if this game just dominates and we become the next big hit, then uh, we're already like, I'm pretty sure we might own most of the marketing for the TES, so this is basically a portable TES. That's, all right, sound completely. We must focus on sound. World design, we can leave, and graphics, we can lower a bit, just a bit. Oh crap, did I forget the level editor? Oh duh, crap, did I forget the level editor? Uh, please tell me I didn't forget the, oh, I forgot the level editor. Whatever, whatever. Probably won't matter much in this game. I, uh, all right, it's going to be called, uh, uh, make, make music, make, make music, MMM, better dialogues, first of all, new this game, what, I changed it, oh, whatever, oh, 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 very good, probably the one, oh, yes, very enjoyable, casual games work well on gambling, Love it. People love game num game number 10. It's oh. With the growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for ga video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way to for game developers to market their upcoming games. Marketing. Let's get marketing. Let's we're just going to go straight in for marketing. Let's get to marketing right away. Uh ba ba ba. ba. Can't get marketing for some reason. Is there a reason? Well, let's let's go out and select mark. Why can't I select market? Uh, I can select other things, but for some reason I can't select marketing. Huh? I want to research marketing. Thank you. Uh. Huh. All right. Let's wait on marketing then. Uh. Let's get some, see, military. Let's make a military game for the T, yes. Okay, obviously our best selling game by far. As you come to, this is an important milestone in the history of SK Electronics. Oh, what do we got? Game number 10, so it got an eight. So it did better than sports championship. That was, Four of us game. Look at how much money we're ha we have. We might be able to move into an reach of military. All right, so all we need to do is just follow our success and then we should be able to dominate. All right, so if we can release another Smash Success game, because that game, because game number 10 is not dying off anytime soon, then we might be able to get an office, so military. 
it's going to be called, um, uh, we'll call it fire, fire, firepower, uh, firepower for an action game for the TES. Like that. And actually, no, it's gonna be for more mature players. Okay. Uh, gameplay is gonna be important. Engine, stories, and quests can go higher. So save game and game tutorials. That's gonna be a big, big game. All right. So, okay. Game number ten is di is starting to die out. So what we need to do is we need to. It's at 99k. We're about to hit 100k. Uh, dialogues. No, not really much. Level design gonna be pretty important. AI can be pretty important. Cause enemies, you know, 100K. Game 10 has received a company sales book of 100K sold. This is an important milestone in the history of SK Electronics. Two milestones in one game. Wow. All right, so the game, if you have more than 1 million cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. This might sound like a lot, but don't worry. Once you reach a hit game, you'll get this amount easily. Really? Cause I already ready. Vena, creator of Master V Console, has announced a Vena Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the game link from Ninvento. The spokesperson from the company said, unlike similar devices to the market, we don't have come, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vena Gear has basically full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Vena Gear also has a full color screen. Will this device topple the game link? We will see. The Vena Gear will de debut in two months. I, let's make some games. Let's let's show them a bit of support. Uh, let's go like that. World design could be pretty important. Graphics. So if this can at least get a boat of. Uh, hi, I'm Steve O'Connor, the reporter from Planet GG. Heard a rumor that companies develop a game for mature audience. Would we be willing to give an interview about this? Sure. Great. Thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. All right. Sure. Planet GG has recently um, published an interview with SK Electronics. According to the interview, the company says that they're working on their first game targeted at mature players. SK, owner and CEO of SK Electronics said, we think that players are looking for more mature content in games and we're willing to take a risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later with more mature themes will become more common. We're curious to see how the market will react to these games. We got 12 hype so far. So 12 people in the world are like, oh my gosh, we want that. But everybody else is like, no. Okay, it's off the market. So firepower is ready to be to be shown to the to is ready to be shown to the world. Come on, firepower, show them what you can do. Uh, we got a six. I like it. Quirky but good. Six. All six. Seven, yes. So we got a really good. So maybe six point twenty-five. Yeah, six point twenty-five. Uh, how's it gonna sell though? Uh. Okay, good. So this is great. But I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed me just messing around, well, and succeeding at at with SK Electronics. And in the next video, hopefully it'll be soon, we're going to hopefully manage to make another game that will follow the success of Firepower and game number 10, and of course, uh, sports, sports championship. And then we will hopefully get in office. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!